All right, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Crypto, Coffee and Lo-Fi. Before we get started, special thanks to Delta Exchange for sponsoring this series. Click the link in the description below and sign up with them um, using my link and receive a deposit bonus. So if you are new here, feel free to go to the start of my YouTube channel and check out all of the tutorials that I have there available for you guys. If you are interested in the way that I'm trading or the way that I'm drawing up the charts, click the link in the description below and pick up a copy of the strategy. But if you don't want to buy that, there is a bunch of free content there and I'm more than happy to answer questions in my DMs on Twitter. So feel free to do that. Um, right, so... I have been bullish for the last couple of weeks now, but we are headed into this higher time frame resistance right here. So when you do reach into resistance, higher time frame resistance or higher time frame support, there's two things that you should look out for. The first thing, or there's two things that you should expect. The first thing being um, chop and consolidation. The second thing being a possible reversal. And the reversal doesn't necessarily mean that the entire trend is going to change. It may just be a lower time frame reversal that will then lead back into support. So in a bullish case, we're obviously bullish here on the higher time frames, but we are leading into higher time frame consolidation or higher time frame resistance. So what's likely is that we see consolidation in this zone. And if we do get a reversal, right, it may just mean that we're coming back into higher time frame support. So even if we do get a reversal here, it doesn't mean that we're going to erase this entire move. So even though I'm still bullish, even though I've been long from the lows, I think it's important um, around these levels at least to be looking to take some profit and just being cautious. Um, if you're on the lower time frames trying to day trade, I would be taking profit quickly and expecting uh, price to range and chop. So the plan for today's session is quite simple. You can see we've taken out all of these lows here. Taken out this low as well. Then breaking above the high that was responsible for taking that low. This is the first signs of accumulation. So if we can break up above, reaccumulate and get an entry trigger, then I'll look to get long into about 49,500. So we're still bullish. If we are going to form some kind of um, reversal to the downside, then I would expect one of two scenarios to play out. A move above that high that is then followed by a distribution or a move into this level here. What is this level if you come back? It's just the previous level of distribution. So here we swept out this high, then broke below the low that was responsible for taking that high. Since we started this whole downtrend here, we haven't yet revisited this level. And because it's inside of this higher time frame consolidation, I would assume that this is the next level to get retested before any significant retrace. So just staying cautious here, like I said, if we see a sweep of the high that is then followed by distribution or a retest of this level that is then followed by distribution, then I will look to get short. What are some targets, I think, below these lows here into this level of support or even this level of support? But for now, if we get that lower time frame trigger to get long, I'll look to take it. There's also this possibility as well. Even though I think this is unlikely. If we do get something like that, I will short also. I would rather the long though, so just keeping an eye out. If we get that hourly close above here and then some more accumulation, I'll look to long into this level. ETH. So I will link a video in the description. Um, it's a video that I made a little while ago, the smart way to read a trend. Um, so feel free to go and check that out. But essentially what I point out in that video is that even in an uptrend, we can retrace and uh, break structure, but it doesn't mean that the entire trend is retracing. So how do you know that the entire trend is not, uh, it doesn't mean that the entire trend is reversing. So how do you know 
if price is going to, if price is reversing or retracing. What I do is I mark out the areas of accumulation. Okay, and this is essentially the true support in the market. So we can break this level of support or break this level of support, but it doesn't mean necessarily that the entire trend is breaking. So we may get something like this and these levels may break. But then if you look back, you mark out the accumulation. So here we have a sweep of these levels and then we broke above the high until we start to invalidate the true levels of support or the levels of accumulation, then it's best to assume that price is going to continue up. So just like Bitcoin, if we get a lower time frame distribution, I think looking at this level for reaccumulation and a continuation of the trend will be the play. But for now, still no signs of distribution on the lower time frames. So until we get that, it's best to assume that price is going to continue up. Let's see if we have any targets. So we've just taken out these equal highs, but we do have this level just above here. And it pretty much lines up perfectly with that level on Bitcoin as well. So I think for today, we continue up into this level. If once we reach there, we start to get distribution, then I'll look to short into this level just here. So on ETH, what would the trigger look like? A sweep there, then breaking above the high is responsible for taking those lows. What we would need is some reaccumulation here. If we get that reaccumulation, re then I'll look to get long into the level above. If we fail, just like Bitcoin, or just like the plan that I pointed out on Bitcoin, if we fail and get some distribution, then I'll look to short there, targeting about 3,200. FTM is the long that I took just earlier. So here's the game plan. It's pretty simple. Moving below this low here and accumulating. Sweeping out a low, breaking above the high that was responsible for taking the low. We go into the lower time frames here. Sweeping out this low, breaking above the high, sweeping out this low, and then breaking above that high right there. So that's the trigger. Before the accumulation that we saw here, there was a down leg. What caused this down move? This area of distribution here. So here we have a sweep, then breaking below the low. Since this distribution, since this down leg, we haven't yet retested this level. So I think if we are accumulating, even if we aren't forming a full-blown reversal, we should retest this level before continuing down so i'm long here if this long fails then i'll look for reaccumulation on the trend line if that long fails then i would assume we get some more distribution then looking for some accumulation all the way down here using the plan on bitcoin and eth as confluence okay i think i'm going to cut that here i'm trying not to overcomplicate anything but um this is actually how I'm looking at the charts. I'll get much more engagement. I know if I just posted one bias and said I'm really bullish or really bearish, but I, you know, people that do that, I don't think actually trade. So although there are times to have conviction, I think it's important to always keep um, a clear head and not get too married to your bias. So just to recap, if we break up above here and get some reaccumulation, I'll look to get long into about 49,500. If we get some distribution above the high, I'll look to cut that long and short into below these lows. If we get some distribution at about 49,500, I'll look to short into these lows as well. All right, guys, cutting it there. If you're interested in the way that I'm analyzing the charts and taking these positions, you can click the link in the description below and pick up a copy of the strategy. No worries. Enjoy the rest of your day.